Welcome to New England Crypto and East Coast Hardware. My name is Matthew. We are a crypto mining family. In today's video, I'm going to be assembling my first dedicated CPU mining rig. I've CPU mined on my GPU mining rigs before, but I've never had a dedicated CPU rig. We're going to be putting this rig on Verus for now, but we want it to be future-proofed for Monero and any other coins that pop up on the RandomX algorithm and catch our eye. When it comes to mining on RandomX, especially for Monero, having an ample amount of RAM is particularly important because it enables your mining rig software to efficiently process and store the data needed for cryptographic calculations. The higher your RAM capacity is, the more data can be loaded into memory for mining operations, potentially resulting in faster or higher hash rates. Mining Monero requires a significant amount of memory, especially when compared to mining something like Verus. Verus can even be profitably mined on cell phones and tablets. I am a huge fan of cell phone mining, but when it comes to CPU mining rigs, it's recommended to have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM, although more is preferable for optimal performance. So after thorough research, we tend to suggest two 8 gigabyte sticks of RAM. That way, you can easily switch between CPU mining algorithms without having to physically mess with the hardware at all. The easier, the better. Now let's take a look at our RAM. This is definitely some of the best looking RAM I have ever used. It might not be the cheapest, but I keep buying it because it's beautiful. A little RGB always ups your hash rate, right? All right, let's take a moment to go over the rest of the hardware that we'll be using on today's build. First and foremost, let me say that I know using an EVGA P2 ATX power supply for a rig like this is super overkill, but it's my favorite power supply, and it's super efficient. I know that that's very important to a lot of you guys as well. Here's a quick look at the specs for anyone that's interested. And she's wicked silent. I'm going to leave affiliate links for all of the products we discussed today down in the description below. Now let's take a moment to go over all of the products here, including this B450MA motherboard. A Be Quiet Pure Rock 2FX CPU cooler in black. Oh, she's a beauty. Back to the two 8 gigabyte sticks of 3000 megahertz Warhawk RGB DDR4 RAM. A PNY SSD with the necessary dongle for flashing HiveOS onto it from a laptop or PC. And last but not least, an AMD Ryzen 7 1700 CPU that's just been begging to be mined on. And before we get ahead of ourselves, today's build has been made possible by the amazing team over at Gelid, who have supplied Mrs. New England Crypto and I with enough thermal paste to do maintenance on our whole farm. Thank you again to the good people over at Gelid. I will make sure to leave the results on how the Gelid GC4 handles the thermals from both CPUs and GPUs in upcoming content. Now let's go ahead and get all of this hardware opened up and ready to assemble.
These EVGA P2 power supplies are beautiful and they're fully modular, which is my favorite thing about them. You can pick and choose the wires that you want to use or need to use. and You don't have to have all the excess wires hanging off like a power supply that has all of them already. And these are all labeled MB for motherboard, CPU for the CPU wires. Love it. And they give you a bag for all the excess wires. Awesome. These B450M-A2 motherboards are very simple, but they've been ultra reliable, so I definitely suggest them. And I'm really looking forward to testing out this Be Quiet Pure Rock 2FX CPU cooler that was recommended to me by someone that I really trust. All right, the time has come. Let's get this thing put together. When it comes to knowing what RAM slots to use, I always suggest checking the manual. With this particular motherboard, if you're using just one stick of RAM, you're supposed to use the fourth RAM slot labeled B2. And if you're going to use two sticks of RAM, you use the second and fourth slot. The second slot's labeled A2 and the fourth slot's labeled B2. Okay, time to flash iOS. Never interrupt a pregnant lady that's eating. And we've got Hive OS freshly flashed on the SSD now. Fingers crossed, let's fire her up.
Looking good so far. All right, she's been up and hashing for a little while now. I'm super stoked on this. We're drawing less than 50 watts of power, averaging right around 47 watts. Let's go take a quick look at Hive OS. Everything's running good. Everything's running nice and cool. 33 degrees Celsius. Varus flight sheets all set up. We're averaging 9.2 mega hash. Everything is still running stock. I'm super stoked on this one. I'll continue to work on dialing it in a little bit more. Thank you all so much for joining me. Please like and or subscribe on the way out, and I will see you on the next one.